Welcome back at 615. A warning for parents of student athletes. While excessive heat threatens their health, experts are increasingly more concerned about a drink that may push them over the edge. Now, this drink is called Prime. It's an energy drink. It's more popular than you might know. And some are confusing the brands sports drinks and energy drinks. Yeah, one doctor says both could be harmful. Health reporter Haley Hernandez has this story. Even within hospital walls. A young person who had a couple of energy drinks and coronary arteries, you know, which supply the heart with blood, were packed full of blood clots. Wow. The marketing of some drinks leads to confusion as to whether they're healthy or harmful. I actually found out about this in a gym and got hooked ever since. Cardiologist at LBJ Hospital, Dr. John Higgins, has conducted studies on energy drinks and the chemicals inside. Caffeine by itself is generally not considered dangerous for adults, but when you mix it with these other stimulants, especially in high levels, Haley, we believe that those are what is the body is not used to and is upsetting the body's systems. The biggest offender, according to Higgins, is prime energy drinks made popular by YouTube influencer Logan Paul. 60 calories versus 10 calories. Ooh, 30. But Dr. Higgins says don't buy it. The thing that bothers me um, most about prime is the very, very high caffeine level in a small can. That's especially dangerous right now. Hot temperatures and energy drinks don't mix. Higgins worries about students returning to school sports and outdoor activities. The, the caffeine will dehydrate and the high sugar will dehydrate you. So this is a toxic combination in that if you're doing both of these, you will feel worse, your heart rate and blood pressure will go up worse, and you will get dehydrated quicker you could actually run into some serious sort of problem with potentially even something as bad as a heart attack, stroke, or another uh, blood vessel occlusion from uh, the combination of all of those uh, components. And if you buy the hydration sports drink version of Prime, Dr. Higgins says it still contains similar ingredients as the energy drink. So he says the safest option for students spending time outside is water. And these drinks need more study. We don't have the evidence right now that these, in fact, do give you more energy. And lawmakers agree Senator Chuck Schumer is calling on the Food and Drug Administration to investigate this popular drink. Now, I talked to the American Beverage Association about this, and while they don't represent Prime, they do follow guidelines which discourage marketing energy drinks to children under 12. They do claim, though, that most energy drinks contain significantly less caffeine than a similarly sized coffee. But Dr. Higgins said it might not be the caffeine that's dangerous, guys. It's probably the caffeine mixed with the stimulant. So it's that combination that Dr. Higgins thinks is really dangerous. Well, yeah, even that one can, it said 200 milligrams of caffeine on it, which by itself isn't. Yeah, tremendous. but it's all of those other ingredients. Yeah, put it together. And those ingredients, at least in Prime, are, are, are similar in what the, is in their sports drinks. So that's why he says there needs to be more investigation before we can recommend these for everybody. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't recommend it for kids, mm -hmm. at least for now. All right, Haley. Thanks, guys. Hey, uh, you know, we're just a few weeks away from the start of school, and we're here to support you to make sure everybody is classroom ready. Scan the QR code that's on your screen right now, and you can send us any questions you have about problems impacting you and your family. We're going to work to answer those questions as our back-to-school coverage, Classroom Ready, gets underway here on KPRC2 and all of our platforms.